While Australia claimed their fifth World Cup title, they did have some standout players. Steve Smith, who has had an unbelievable six-month period, scoring over 1,000 runs in cricket. During the World Cup, he scored over 400. And also Mitchell Stark, who was named player of the tournament with his 22 wickets. I haven't got too many words at the moment, it's just an amazing feeling. Um, but an amazing crowd. Uh, it's, it was awesome to come out for the first ball of the game and, and just hear the noise. And um, to finish like that, uh, watch Michael Clark and Steve Smith finish it off. Finish off an amazing summer, really, for the Australian boys. It's been, been a fantastic summer. Every one of the 15 blokes has been working really hard for a number of months now. Uh, through the tri series leading up to this tournament, right throughout, I think all the bowlers have been fantastic every game. The batters have been working up to this performance, and to, to win a World Cup three down, I think, was phenomenal. And uh, the support we've had in the stadium throughout the, the tournament as well with the Australian public has been phenomenal. What is the best thing about the Australian cricket team? Oh, right now, winning the World Cup. Um, look, it's just we're all great mates. We all enjoy each other's company uh, on and off the field, having a lot of fun. Uh, and that's really shown, I think, in our, our cricket, and, and especially tonight, to, to win it the way we did. Uh, we're going to really enjoy each other's company for the next few days. What does it mean to you to win a World Cup in Australia? Uh, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, it's, it's a really rare opportunity for anyone to, to play a World Cup in their home country. So. I think to play it like we have, uh, to win it especially, it's been, been amazing to have the support of the public uh, and really do it here in a packed MCG, it's been awesome. I was pretty nervous this morning coming to the ground. Uh, I thought when we lost the toss, you know, things mightn't be, might be going against us, but look, I thought the bowling unit did a terrific job again today. They're, they've done it all World Cup for us and they produced the goods again today and for us to only chase 180 on this weekend, it was, um, you know, all credit goes to them. And your batting performance, I mean, right through the last six months has just been unbelievable. Can you believe it? Not really. Um, you know, it's, it's been an amazing summer for me. I've enjoyed every minute of it. And I guess to hit the winning runs at the end there really tops it off for me. So, um, look, I'm just really excited. Uh, I words can't really describe how, it's, how I'm feeling right now. Do you remember what you told yourself before this World Cup started? What, what did you want to achieve? Well, we wanted to win this, this World Cup. Um, we thought we'd have to be playing our best cricket come the business end of the tournament. And, you know, I thought we'd, we did that. I thought our, our, our performance against India last week was clinical. Our last game was clinical. And today, the way we started with removing the, the dangerous Brendan McCullum early, it, it really got us on a roll. And, you know, the boys have just been outstanding. If you had to sum up uh, your feelings towards Michael Clark, what would you say they are? Yeah, look, uh, I'm just so proud of him. He's, he's been a terrific player over a long period of time and it's just such a fitting farewell for him to, to walk out having captain this Australian team to a World Cup. Australia's seventh win this World Cup was a seven-wicket win over New Zealand in the final at the MCG where emotions ran high with it returning to Australia and New Zealand for the first time in 23 years. It's a fitting end to this ICC Cricket World Cup.